how can you use external instruments in your GarageBand iOS projects? For many of you, this is a simple thing to do, but if you're just starting out with GarageBand or you just need a refresher, let's dive in and take a look. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this with Numa Player. We've talked about Numa Player here on the show. There's videos you can find linked down in the description and all over the channel. Numa Player is great. It is a full functional featured keys and strings and electric piano. It does a whole bunch of stuff. So here we have the, the app. We can open it up here. We can put all of our strings and keys and it's very cool. There's a lot of stuff in here. You can change up your different sounds here. You can adjust your settings. You can add effects. You've got master faders and plugins and everything here. Numa Player is cool, but it's not just about playing in this interface. What if you want to record it into GarageBand? Well, it's actually super duper simple. If we jump over here and go into GarageBand instead, let's go all the way out here because I'd already had this set up for my testing. So we'll go out and we'll start a brand new project. So we're going to tap on create song. We're going to go to external. And now there's two ways you can do this. One is into app audio, and this works for older apps as well as some newer apps. What that'll do is actually record in the audio sound, and there's other videos that I've shown that in the past as well. But audio unit extensions, when you're using a virtual app or a MIDI app, is going to be your preferred way to do it generally because it's going to record in the MIDI sound. So if we tap on the Numa Player icon here under external, we now have this embedded within GarageBand. So we can actually do all the same things that we can do. If we slide up the top here, we can go through and we can add in the different strings and pads and keys, and we can make our own sounds. You can even use things like your presets up the top here. We can tap that. Let's go to uh, everyone's favorite here, the Electro Mix. And, uh... and then if you want to record this in, it's as simple as hitting the record button and playing it apart. simple stuff there. Go back to your view here and there you go. And it records it in as MIDI, which means that you can adjust it. You can come in here, you can use all your different settings that you can, including your velocity and your speed and your looping and your quantization. You can edit all of those parts. So you can come in here and change the notes that are played. So you can get a completely different sound. And you can, of course, do things like copying and pasting and putting them on different tracks. So if we decide, actually, we don't want that, we just want to use a regular keyboard sound here. Oh, this is the, the harmonic taps here. That's the last thing that I use on Alchemy Synth. So we can actually move it between tracks as well and put it onto. So it makes it really easy to use that. Now there's a bunch of other external instruments. Many of them are paid. The reason I use Numa Player for this demo is that it's free. You can go and download it right now, but there's a heap of others. So you can see if we come in here, I've got a bunch of different synth apps, piano apps. Uh, the, the Ravenscroft is my favorite piano. Even the, uh, the classic sensual sax, which is one of my favorite sounds because when you turn up the love to the max, you get this business. which I think you'll agree is very saucy. <laughs> 